something. I accidentally cut off the video as I was recording it. So I keep doing that. That's like the fifth time I did that. You like my little Harry Potter scar? I do. I think it makes me look better. I think it matches me though. For some reason it looks darker when I make my little uh, TikTok videos and I put the little filters on it. It makes it look dark, but in person it's not, not even noticeable. Patiently waiting for my food. Yeah, like I was saying, um, as far as like the testosterone. Oh. Can I get an extra bag, please? Yeah. Since I'm walking, thank you. I get another bag it ripped. Sorry.
and we are out. So, I got my food right here. Look at that big ass bag. <laughs> like I said, I've been cooking all week. Um, just kind of been work from working home, working home all week. Nothing special, you know. But I try to save money so I don't really get takeout like that. I do that like maybe once or twice a week or something. Usually on like the weekend, Friday or Saturday or Sunday. Just depends. It's getting a little chilly, it's getting a little nippy out here. You can hear that wind. Better. But people be looking at me though, like this person behind me probably be there. Are they recording me? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I don't care though, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a flipping fuck. Oh yeah, but the girl in there, I don't know if y'all caught it, because the camera, I accidentally turned the camera off by accident. I was trying to set it up in front of me while I was talking to the girl. I was talking to Shorty. We had a little conversation and I basically told her, uh, I said like, I said to her, you seem like you're in a better mood today. And um, she had a bit, she put like this real big smile on her face. Let me see if they had a... <laughs> I don't have the macaroni salad. Sometimes they have a. Uh, this is a Dominican spot right here. I haven't really been in there, but they got some good Dominican food. Um, I mean, it looks good. I've had Dominican food before, and it's pretty good. I like Puerto Rican food better, don't get me wrong. Um, Puerto Rican food, to me, has a lot more flavor. So, but, but Colombian food is good. And plus, it depends who makes it, too, you know. But I've never tried it from there, but I'm going to try it from there maybe next week. Or the week after. Damn, this bag feels like it's gonna break any any second. I'm almost home though. So this is where I be walking. Uh, it was a nice little walk. I'm surprised I made it to the pharmacy. I didn't think I would. Shit. I just love this these big ass buildings though. Look at these big ass buildings. Look at that big ass church church right there. Isn't that dope? Look at that. The post office is right there. You see that building right there? You see that building right there? That's the post office. Right there. Look how close everything is to me. But this church though is dope. It reminds me of like an ancient... It's just real ancient... Ancient... Uh, I can't say that word. I feel like I'm saying ain't shit. <laughs> but it seems like a real ancient type of church, you know, like, you know what I'm trying to say, just medieval times type of shit, you know? It's just, uh, I, I, I love it. I love the way it's designed. It's pretty cool. I'm loving this tripod a little too much. It's way better than when, when I started uh, vlogging before. I used to have the phone on the ground like this. <laughs> y'all was y'all was looking at my packer. That's what y'all was looking at. My ear pod's falling out. Hold on. Okay. Ew, somebody's dog pooped on the floor. Why don't why they don't pick it up? It's nasty. If I had a dog, I would I would put a 
put a bag in my pocket and pick up the poop with some gloves, put it in the bag, and then just throw it out. You know, is it so hard to do that? Anyway, it's none of my business, though. <sighs> the only time it's my business is when I step on it. Then that makes it my business, you know? <laughs> okay, and McDonald's is right here, my daughter's favorite place to be. Right next to my house. And then there's a veterans um, memorial, 1917 war memorial. I don't know, but that's what this is. I don't know if that big ass building right there. People looking at me like, what the fuck, who was he recording? <laughs> Look like I'm talking to myself and shit. <sighs> but yeah. No, sorry, bro. Some dude was asking me for money. You see that dude right there behind me? Stand next. They always stand next to McDonald's for some reason. Maybe ask for change. They always, I don't know why they always ask me. Do I look like a broke nigga or what? Got jeans on, Tim's. This jacket was over a hundred bucks. This hoodie was over fifty bucks. I mean, I don't buy cheap shit. These Tim's, two hundred dollars. They probably would have cost less if I didn't wear a size twelve. I got some big ass feet. But yeah. I don't know why homeless people always come to me. And I always give them the same answer. Sorry. Can't help you. Ain't got no money, bro. I used to live in this building when I first moved here. That building right there, I used to live in that house. Whenever I'm with my daughter, we always pass this store. And she always says... Uh, she wants candy. She always starts screaming, candy, 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 candy. And she, she'll cry. It's called Circle K. Do y'all have a store called Circle K? Where you at? You see that big K behind me? Yeah. It's called Circle K. It's a little convenience store. It's right next to my house. It's only a block away from my house. Look. My house is, see that big building right there? That's my house. That's how close Circle K is to my house. So you know I'm always going over there. And then we got, I'm about to pass Domino's right now. I'll show y'all. So we got a Domino's right here. See? Look how close I am to Domino's. Told you. That's actually a trans woman that just walked past me. She's six foot six. Trans woman. She's always by herself. She just be walking up and down the street by herself all the time. Well, yeah, she's taller than me and I'm six three. Finally, home. I took you all on my walk. It was fun. And let me tell you something. I can't wait to fucking get up there and hit that bed. <laughs> I need to check my mailbox first. I haven't checked the mail in a couple of days. So this is my street. That's the church right next to me. It's a couple churches. Jesus Christ, that church is huge. I love it. And I've never been in there. 
I've actually never seen anybody come out of it either. They probably it's probably open on Sundays. I don't know. Maybe one day when I'm bored, I'll go in there. I do believe in God. I used to go to church a lot when I was a kid. But that's another story for another day. And I do have mail. Nothing special though. Same old shit. Hold on, let me tuck this away. I just love this fucking church. Look at that thing. That thing is gorgeous, man. Looks like something you would see back in the 1800s or something. Oh, man. Take me back in time. <laughs> I don't like this century. I don't like this century, y'all. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. Take me back. I don't want to fucking be here. Hate it here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did I scare y'all? Just joking around. I can't be very goofy. But anyway, like I was saying, the shorty at the Mexican restaurant. I was making a little small talk with her. That's the first time I spoke to her. I said, you seem like you're in a good mood today. And she said, oh, I'm always in a good mood. And I said, oh, yeah? Usually you got a rested bitch face. And she said, really? I didn't notice that. You noticed that? And I said, yeah. And she said, you know what? My coworkers tell me the same thing. I don't mean to have rested bitch face. She said, and I said, well, you have a nice smile. She said... Oh, thank you. I should smile more. Man, I had her giggling. But I didn't ask for her number. I didn't ask if she had a man. Nope. I'm going to just keep going over there and keep going over there. And I'm going to find out. Because I need to know if she has a man first. I think she do. I'm in the hallway. Let me turn on my little light. Like I said... Um, I don't like to make my move until I know for sure if they have a man or a woman. If they in a relationship, basically. And usually I can tell. Damn, it's dark in this motherfucker. Let me turn on some lights in here. Honey, I'm home. Babe, I'm home, babe. I got us some food. Some Mex Mexican food. Oh, I forgot. I forgot, guys. You want to know something? You want to know why my girl ain't answering me? Because I ain't got no damn girl! I'm okay. Just playing around, guys. Ladies. Don't think too much. Don't overthink it. Just having fun. Showing y'all my little goofy side. So, I'm not going to do a tour right now. Uh, so, I got to do some clean. I got to clean up a little bit. Tidy up. But... I will do a tour. Look at my TV. I got jazz music playing. And look at my gaming chair. That's my daughter's book bag in the back. She got like three book bags now. So yeah, that's my 43 inch TV. I used to have a 32 inch. So I just bought this TV. And I got myself a gaming chair. So I could play my video games. I had a, I had a, I used to have a chair that was, I was sitting on that was broken. So it's nice to have a gaming chair now. Know what I mean?
Hold on, let me strip for y'all real quick. Right quick. Right. Put the, there we go. Show y'all the fit. Alright. Let me take the tripod off. Show y'all the fit. Ain't nothing special, but this is what it's looking like, baby. This is what it's looking like, baby. That's my daughter's robe and her little shower cap. When she comes over and she takes a shower. It definitely doesn't belong to a woman. <laughs> she got slippers too, look. These slippers are definitely not for a woman. Look how small they are, that's for a kid. It's my daughter's slippers. Goes with her robe. So yeah, um. I always got it, this is my signature move, look. I know y'all be thinking, this cocky ass motherfucker, he really thinks he's all that. Man, he, he need to get over himself, seriously. Like, it is not that serious. He is way too conceited. <laughs> That's why he ain't got no girl. Oh my God, that is such a turn off. Little do y'all know, I'm the most humble guy you'll ever meet. Confident, but humble. That. I've been working out. I've been going to the gym. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. That thing is tough, baby. Come on out. I lost weight too. I lost 10 pounds. I can say, oh, look, now he's stripping. What we working with? Look at those fucking arms, man. Proud of myself. Man, a year ago, I didn't have this. I did not have that. Look at my little ponytail. <laughs> oh. Man, I am sweating. I was fucking definitely walking for a while. <sighs> Alright, y'all. So, hopefully y'all enjoyed coming with me for my walk. I'll do a tour of my apartment in a few days. Yeah, let me show you all my food real quick. I know I said I would show it to you all. Right. You ever had street corn? Like, it usually comes, um, like, on a cob. And it has, like, mayonnaise, paprika, cilantro. Um, and sometimes they put queso fresco and parmesan. Or some people just put parmesan cheese. Um, but basically, that's what this is. But instead of it being like corn on a cob, it comes in a bowl. It's really good. Um, this is like a orange sauce. It's just mayo and ketchup. Um, usually, Mexicans and Hispanics use that for like tost tostones. Um, or they pour it on top of tacos. This is um, two, uh, two tacos. It comes two, two tacos for five bucks. And it's just lettuce, onion, uh, one is pork, this is the pork one, right here, and then this one is the chicken. It's lettuce, queso fresco, onion, and cilantro lime sauce, and it comes with a lime. It's really good. So I got that. 
So the corn was only three dollars um, and some change. The two tacos was five bucks, and then I got this is the last thing. Um, th they call this uh, tropical plantain fries. Um, oh my god, this is my favorite. I'm most likely gonna save this for later, but it comes with uh, plantain fries. So think of plantains, right? If you ever had to tostones or plantains, instead of it being tostones, it looks like french fries. So let me see if I can pull one out. See? That's what it looks like. Mm. And it comes with a bunch of toppings like mango. Um... Green pepper, red onion, red cabbage, queso fresco, lime, and more um, of that orange sauce. And I also got pork. You can't see it, but it's underneath it. There's pork underneath it, but it's fucking bomb. It's fucking... Oh, it also has corn in it, too. It is fucking bomb. Mm, I always have to get this when I come there. So. And then to drink. I got. If there's any Mexicans out there or Puerto Ricans, you should know what that is. Basically, um, Mexican soda. It's really good. One is um, mango, and the other one is mandarin. So I got two of those. So yeah, I am going to tear this shit the fuck up. Okay, so I told you I would show you all my cup that I bring to work. I usually just fill it up with water. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, I got this from the TikTok shop. I can link it in my video. Um, it's 2,000 milliliters. I have big hands. And look, this is next to my hand. It's pretty big. Um, so this is 2,000 milliliters. So, in a gallon, there's 128 ounces. Um, and uh, in milliliters, it's th over 3,000 ounces in a gallon. Okay, so a gallon of water would be, or a gallon of anything would be, is 128 ounces, and in milliliters, that's over 3,000, so this is 2,000 milliliters, so it's like drinking half a gallon, which is a lot, so I wanted something big, because I drink a lot of water at work, so yeah, um, what does it say? 7 a.m. it says rise and shine. 9 a.m. it says let's get started. 11 a.m. it says remember your goal. 1 p.m. it says keep it up. 3 p.m. it says halfway there. 5 p.m. it says you can do this. 7 p.m. it says don't quit now. And 9 p.m. it says all in, a day, all in a day's work. It's like trying to tell you how much. It's like trying to encourage you to drink the whole thing. <laughs> So yeah, I got this from the TikTok shop. Um, I really like it a lot. So yeah, I'll link it in my YouTube in the description in case y'all want to buy it. Um, oh God, let me get in this bed. Oh, I'll post some TikToks tomorrow. Maybe I'll post something tonight. 
on TikTok. I don't know. I'll see how I feel. But I will be posting these rugs in a bit. I got a bandaid on my leg because I took my testosterone today. So that's why that's there. I'm so tired. I need a hug, you guys. I don't I don't I don't have nobody to give me a hug. And I would love that. I really would. You know, I'm very dominant, yes, and I may come across intimidating, but I'm also very, very sweet and very affectionate. But uh, I wish that y'all would look past the hard exterior and try to get to know more about Jay. Because I think a lot of y'all sexualize me instead of looking at me like I'm a re real human being that has feelings and emotions and wants a real deep connection with a woman. I don't want to be with a woman that's going to play me, cheat on me. You know, I want a real deep connection. I want somebody to build with. And shit, I'm trying to get married. I'm not saying right now, but I'm definitely trying to get married within the next five years. So, I'm about to be 34 on July 26. In five years, I'll be 39. So, look at it like that. Anyway, this is a 30-minute video. I'm sorry. But... I hope you all enjoyed my vlogs, and I would appreciate it if y'all could like, comment, and if I don't post, if y'all if y'all see me going MIA, I know I, I, I went MIA for the whole week, check up on me, please check up on me, because you never know what a person's going through, it doesn't matter how strong a man is, it doesn't matter how dominant a man is, always check on people when you don't hear from them because you never know what they're going through you know they could be suffering suffering with something and they just would rather sit in silence because they feel like nobody cares and I don't think anybody should ever have to feel like that you know but I do need a hug though and a girlfriend I think a year and a half is a, a, a long enough time that that I've been single I think that's long enough <laughs> um yeah I definitely would like somebody to cuddle with since I love to cuddle so all right I'll see y'all in the next vlog and if y'all enjoy these vlogs comment please nobody ever comments I know I talk a lot I'm sorry I'm, I'm really gonna get off now but comment like if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next vlog. All right. Peace out.